Hey everybody, this is Burke, and I wanted to talk really quickly about paths and how they work in NativeScript. And by paths, I mean these things here, these import statements. You may be used to using languages like C Sharp or Java where we import things by namespace. So maybe system, uh, this might look familiar if you do C Sharp, threading, thread, and then we have access to that namespace. JavaScript doesn't work this way. JavaScript modules do not work this way. The way that they work is with the node module system. The node module system imports anything that's actually in the node modules folder. And that's exactly what these two bottom imports are. If you don't see a dot slash or a dot dot slash in front of an import, in other words, if it starts with a word here or a term, that's referring to a node module. You can find all node modules here in this folder. Now you'll notice you don't see a UI page and you don't see a data observable. And that's because the way that node modules works is that it ignores these top level folders and it actually looks inside the folders. So anything that's inside of these folders gets treated as being top level or directly underneath. That's why we see things like UI slash page. That's where the subfolders come in. If we see data and we have observable here, that's data observable. But we don't have to specify the TNS core modules folder in front of that. Similarly, if we were to import a plugin to NativeScript, it would come in here to this node modules folder, and guess what? We wouldn't have to directly reference that folder. We could immediately reference the file inside that we wanted to import unless that file was nested inside of another folder. Um, let's take a look at something else here. How does TypeScript know what file to import here from data slash observable? That's contained in this package.json file. If we look in here, see this main? This tells TypeScript uh, it's observable. That's the file that you need to import, and so that's the file that it imports. And here's the definition file that TypeScript is actually using. This is actually used by JavaScript here. This is the file that TypeScript uses, which contains all of the definitions for an observable. That's how node modules work. The other thing that you'll use quite a bit is local files. So we're, we're importing our, creating our own modules and importing them here as well with this really nice module system. It's really ES6, but TypeScript is here. So let's look, take a look at what this looks like if we change the structure of this application a little bit. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it shared. And in this folder, I'm going to put this uh, view model dot, main view model dot TS. I'm gonna move this into shared. Now you can see when I do that, I put the main view model in shared, right here, this is going to, TypeScript's gonna have a problem with this here in just a second. And actually, if we change this and make a change, the Visual Studio updates, there it is. It can't find this anymore. Uh, and the reason is because we've moved it. This dot slash really says, go to whatever the current folder is and look inside the current folder. So if we're looking at main page TS, what's the current folder for main page? Well, it's app. And there is no main view model underneath app. Where is it? It's underneath shared. So we go in and we say it's under the shared folder. Now TypeScript recognizes it, picks it up. Everything's good again. Um, let's take a look at what happens if we add another, uh, if we go from nested folder to nested folder. So let's do a new folder and we'll call it um, main here. You know, maybe we want all of our main page logic in the same folder, so we'll just put that here. Uh, yeah, go ahead and save that, and we'll put the XML file in there as well. This is a nice way to organize your native script files. Once I do this, it's again going to have a problem with main view model. Now, notice that this dot slash, this is not enough because dot slash is referring to the current folder, which is what? Main, right? This main view model isn't shared, so we actually need to go up a level. To do that, we're going to do a dot dot slash. And now we're going to the app folder. For every dot dot slash that we use, it goes up another folder. So if we wanted to go up higher than app, which we can't really do, we do another dot dot slash. So dot dot slash, dot dot slash, and again, it can't find it. But let's do that. Let's say main, and then we'll do a new folder, and we'll just call it new. And let's put this in here to make this as convoluted as possible and see how we can path our way out of this mess here. So we go into main page, you can see it still it can't find shared, right there. So what do we need to do? We need to go, if we did dot slash, that would bring us to new. If we did dot dot slash, that would bring us to main. So we need two dot dot slashes. Dot dot slash brings us to main. And one more dot dot slash brings us to app. And then we can get to shared and main view model. And that is how paths work in NativeScript. I hope that was helpful. Enjoy.